You look great. Are you kidding me? No, freaking. Thank you. We shared a moment. We shared a moment. <laughs> <laughs>sorry it's yours yes it's mine i'm timmy executive producer i'm micah i'm the ad and this is the meet the cast and crew videos of secrets of the temple i served a mission an lds mission with spencer mclean actually who is brother to the director of secrets of the temple and he also plays sipcourt and he also plays Sipcore, exactly. Uh -huh. So that is how I got into the film. We knew each other beforehand, and he invited me to day one, and that's, that's where I started. So I was invited onto set by um, Chase Muir, who is our, one of our DPs. Yeah. Yeah. He invited me on at the beginning, but really? I didn't... I was in, in Missouri at the time, <laughs> so oh, uh, when I finally got back, I was like, you know, I should really reach out and like yeah. see if it's if I can still do it because that'd be really cool. And yeah. then and then uh, Chase was like, "Yeah, come on, uh, yeah, yeah, do it." We, we need you on here. So I'm. Oh, I felt like I was mostly a recruiter for the set. So like most of what I was doing was outside the set. Yeah. And just getting people there. So like a lot. A yeah. lot of our PAs um, came through me. Um, f usually from UVU or some other connection, and I came up so with a system to catalog So all those new people them. that came along the way, wow, all right. Yeah. Well, nice job, dude. Thanks, man. You freaking it, crushed it. It was also really interesting to figure out how to catalog, like, catalog everybody. Yeah. So we came up with a system for that, too. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Well, so we can put credits for everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool, actually. But oftentimes what I found myself doing was just handling the outside stuff. Uh, whatever's not on set at that moment Hmm. needs to be taken care of or like where is holding oh. yeah like or what stuff do we need to bring up or hmm. uh who's going to be there what are the pas doing right now who needs water and honestly i, I think that does fit my job description pretty well <laughs> i think i don't know honestly no that that definitely <laughs> sounds right like at least observing you and how you were on the set like 100%, like, you were the background guy. Like, the guy in the background that was, like, making everything, like, still stay together, stay, like, put together and everything. Like, everything wasn't in chaos because of what you were doing in the background. And, oh, yeah, like, extremely helpful. I had so many different positions. <laughs> it's hard to, like, just nail it down. Uh, I mean, I, I was a cameo in several different occasions. I was a PA several different times as well, and... I mean, executive producer, you're just giving money, so... <laughs> you know what I knew you as? Huh? I knew you as the guy who had the snacks. <laughs> yeah. You got... You I still had, got him. I, I have no him. idea. I was like, who is this man? <laughs> <laughs> who is your savior? <laughs> who is his savior of us all? Well, you know what? That, that served two purposes for me. So, like, I had this job driving for a living, and it got expensive driving to the gas station and buying gas station food because it's just expensive as crap. So I decided to go to Winco and just do Winco runs and, like, just stock my trunk up with food. So it served the purpose of feeding me while I was on the job. And then it also served the purpose of, oh, hey, I'm with this cast and crew and everything on this film set. Might as well feed them. So oh, so you just happen to have a lot of food in your trunk. I, I literally just happen to have a lot of food in my trunk that this it just wasn't worked planned? out. wasn't <laughs> No, not really. That's that's literally how it is still right now. Like I still just have a bunch <laughs> of food in my trunk just because it serves a purpose. So honestly, spending more uh, it was days without you on set became really sad. Really? Mhm. Mm because you were a big way to cheer up everybody. Really? And it, days with you on set felt a whole lot more light-hearted and like happy. Really? Mhm. Mm so, I, I don't care. Heart, I don't care how good of a PA you were. <laughs> <laughs> I was at least there for the cheer. Okay. Or this lovely angel. You were the <laughs> best dang PA I ever had that day. What? Oh, yeah, that day. Yeah. Oh, my, my goodness. Gosh. 
So this guy, <laughs> this guy ran back and forth between set. Like, to put it into context, we're like in these like this like we're on a freaking mountain. We, yeah, they're like petrified hills. But our cars are all the way back. Like, I don't know. Fifteen minute walk. A fifteen yeah, minute 15 walk. Minute I would walk. say it's like a yeah. mile of hiking. How many times I did I have you go back and so forth between? the cars and our set. Well, and I was carrying some heavy stuff too. Like I, at some points, like I was carrying coolers. I was carrying the generator at one point in the gasoline tanks, like, and I was running. I was running for most of the time. Like I was just sprinting up and down like this mile thing down these hills and through the dirt and everything. I literally like, after day one of doing that, like day two, I did it again, but I was slowing down so hard cause like, Everything in my body just hurt. I was like, I can't do this. Like I saw that and I was like, somebody else should just take some burdens. I've been putting <laughs> too much on Jimmy today. Well, I also took the excuse for myself that I don't work out. And I was like, okay, this is my time. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get something in. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I took full advantage of that. And I probably broke myself for the next week for it. But <laughs> it was great. That's when the Timmy move happened. That's when the Timmy move happened. That, that's when I went viral unintentionally. Timmy move! Uh, You're in the shot! She going run away when it gets hard. She can't take the she can't get scored. She hurt anyone that gets involved. I've done Boom! Get out of there! Holy shot! It was a big screen. So. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> Honestly, that day accomplished a lot, and I really appreciate having Timmy on set. So, I, I think that same weekend, like, I got exhausted that week. <laughs> you know what, that was my favorite trip though, because we had this Airbnb that we were all staying at. Oh yeah. And that was so much fun, oh my gosh. Like, as far as like the day we were all together as a crew and cast and everything, like that was just so much fun because <laughs> I was such an idiot too. Yeah. We... <laughs> It's just hollow. I, I yeah, did some so, stupid stuff. Yeah, uh, there was a pool table, <laughs> and we stayed up until I don't know two. Yeah, was it two? It was probably two. It was something like two yeah. in the morning. On a, the next day, we had to be up <laughs> really early. Like five. Five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. And uh, yeah, we played a game of like we played a couple games. <laughs> I don't, whatever. It doesn't really matter. We, it was a nuts night and yeah. I, I think we all really enjoyed it. That was, that really was. That's another thing that I appreciated about the entire film. All the locations you went and picked out, like, all the, man, I'm still impressed by all the work that was done, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful sets. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed some of the stories of behind the scenes uh, that, you know, I know antics I that... An Timmy and I get up to. Yeah. <laughs> but we hope no, that you guys so are going to stick around and I hope that you guys stay tuned for whenever more material and the actual thing comes out. You know? Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. We will see you guys in the next video. Like and see subscribe. Ya. See ya. <laughs>